Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Now there are three COVID vaccines in the U.S. The primary goal for all these vaccines is to keep people from getting very sick and from dying. However, there's also another goal that is to prevent the spread of the disease. So far, none of these vaccines provided a very concrete answer for that question. But these questions may be solved by a nasal spray vaccine. This week, we are going to look at the first nasal spray COVID vaccine at COVID that has just entered the Phase One human clinical trials. If you are new to the channel, I'm Dr. Hon. The goal for this channel is to connect everyone with scientific fact. This include my regular COVID-19 update and other science review content. My idea is that if I can understand a topic, you can understand as well. If you want to know more about scientific fact, please consider subscribing to the channel. This channel need your help to reach more people. So without further ado, let's dive into today's topic. So like I said at the beginning, today we are going to look at nasal spray COVID vaccine development. First, a disclaimer, this video is my summary and interpretation of publicly available information. This video does not serve as any advice on treatment, diagnosis, and prevention of any diseases, and I do not have any affiliations with the companies that I mentioned in my videos. Let's first look at some of the background information. Now, there are several companies are already developing nasal spray COVID-19 vaccines, and as of February 2021, one of the company US based called Altimmune have entered a phase 1 clinical trial of its nasal spray covid vaccine at covid trademark name now this is a single dose intranasal covid vaccine that is designed and hopefully to prevent the spread and also prevent the contraction of the covid-19 now let's look at today some of the questions. First is what is the history of nasal spray vaccine and how well does nasal spray vaccine work and what about nasal spray vaccine for COVID and how does the nasal spray vaccine work differently than the injectable ones. Fact 1. What is the history of nasal spray vaccine? A nasal spray vaccine has been investigated in the academia since the mid-1990s, and the first breakthrough was the product called Flumist by a company called Medimmune. Now, this Flumist is a life-weakened nasal spray inhaled vaccine, again developed by Medimmune, which is a company based in Gaithersburg, Maryland, United States. It was first approved as seasonal flu vaccine in 2003 by the US FDA, and the company claimed that it made a significant response with the vaccines to the novel H1N1 swine flu back in the days. Fact 2. How well does nasal spray vaccine work? Now, a retro analysis study that was published in 2018 looking at five studies uh, between 2013 to 2014 and 2015 to 2016 flu season. They compared the nasal vaccines against injectable vaccines in children aged 2 to 17 years old. Now, they concluded that the nasal spray appeared to work less well in this population than the injectable one. However, there are several limitations in this study. First, it is being a retroanalysis study, so they are looking back at previous record. And the second one is they are really comparing a live weakened vaccine versus an inactivated influenza vaccines in the injectables. So they worked with a slightly different mechanisms. So you are essentially comparing apple and orange and the comparison is harder to draw a conclusion. What about nasal spray vaccine for COVID? A company called Altimmune that is based in Gaithersburg, Maryland have entered a phase 1 study for their vaccine. They anticipate phase 1 data will be available in the second quarter. As of February 2021, it is the only intranasal COVID vaccine that has entered human trials. And the rationale for the vaccine advantage is being 1. SARS-CoV-2 virus first enters human nasal cavity, and it is a good idea to prevent some uh, activity, particularly viral replication at that location. 
Second, current vaccines produce only IgG and T cell immunity for systemic protection. And three, nasal immunity is important to prevent the spread of COVID. So, how does add COVID this nasal vaccine work in the nasal cavity? How does nasal spray vaccine work differently? So, in addition to stimulating systemic IgG and T cell immunity, these vaccines can also stimulate a different type of antibody that. The current vaccine do not stimulate. Now, when you're looking at antibodies here, with、uh, the different types of antibodies, now we are looking at IgG. Okay, this is a monomer type of a、uh, antibody, so it behaves as a single unit. And we've also talked about something called IgM previously. These are the first antibody that are being secreted、uh, during the early phase of infections. So these are pentama, meaning five of them work together. Another special type of antibody is called IgA. This Ig antibody behaves as a dimer, so two of them work linked together. And this special antibody IgA it has a major role in mucosal membrane immunity, i.e., in your nasal cavity. However, the other type of antibodies are mostly work in a systemic fashions, so they are more soluble in the blood, or there are more of those in the blood than in the mucosal membrane. And by having this. Particular IgA in the mucosal membrane. The idea is to work at the site of entry so that the virus cannot replicate and preventing spread of the disease. So the major advantage of at COVID is being less invasive. You are only administering into the nostril rather than having a needle to stick into your muscle. Second, it can be self-administered. And it's easy for deployment because it can be shipped without refrigeration. Very quickly, let's look at the take-home message from this week. First, the nasal spray vaccine has been around for more than a decade, and it has proven efficacy,、uh, but it may vary in different aged population. Nasal spray vaccine can stimulate IgA production, which is a mucosal antibody in the nose. And it can provide immunity at the site of viral entry. It can potentially work better to prevent the spread of COVID. And this is the question this vaccine aims to answer. To learn more, here are the references that I used for today's presentation. I looked at the study from 2018 and also some of the press information published by the Autoimmune. And that is all for me this week. And I'll see you again next Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for another COVID-related science video. And meanwhile, please stay safe and healthy. Bye.